Hi, in this video I'm going to explain the newest meta ice calming CN that centers around Saki, Fuwa, and Alice, who was just released last night. The ice calm has a unique playstyle that centers around skill resetting and triggering a lot of coordinated attacks between ice weapons. To start with, I'd like to first introduce Saki's kit. The key point of her kit is her weapon skill. Uh, similar to Lyra's skill, the skill has two movesets depending on what resonance you trigger. If you trigger tank resonance, then you become... Uh, you have a tank moveset and you are able to taunt. I'm, I, I personally don't play tank that much, so I won't really be talking about this moveset. Instead, I will focus on the DPS moveset. So every time you use Saki's skill, you're gonna do this flashy uh, slash. The the move has insane multiplier, um, 900%, more than 900%, but it has a long long cooldown. In addition, you are able to generate the spinning blade. This thing pretty much lasts forever. Um, as far as I know, the only way to remove it is by teleporting to a new map, or like let's say like teleporting out of the the dungeon. Uh, and what this spinning blade do is that it has two coordinated attacks. The first coordinated attack is called Flow. You can trigger this just by using any weapon. Just just attack using any weapon. So it doesn't need to be a ice weapon. So, for example, I'm using Ling right now. I'm doing attack. And you can see it shoots out the, the arc and then dealing like around 70k damage. So so that is the flow attack, very easy to trigger. It has a point A cooldown, like I said. Uh, in addition, you are also able to heal. Um, so very nice to have. That gives IceCom the sustainability because IceCom is a melee focused comp. So this heal really helps you survive. Now the other coordinate attack is called the Surge attack. The Surge attack has a much higher multiplier, 450, but then it has a longer cooldown, 10 second cooldown. So you can only trigger the Surge every uh, 10 seconds. Now the way you trigger this is by doing the branch uh, attack moves, moveset. And you have to do this with Saki's weapon. Uh, so what you do, so during your normal attack animation, you hold left click like this. So the spinning move is the branch attack. So you can see I hit like, there's like a massive six digit number there. Um, so that is the surge attack. The other way to trigger the surge attack is by using Saki's uh, discharge. So there are two ways to trigger the surge. One is the branch skill, one is the the discharge skill, and then they share the same cooldown. So this surge and the innate high multiplier is where the burst of ice calm comes from. And then the the this flow attack, you know, gives ice calm the the consistent damage. Now I, I do want to talk about her her one star because her one star is the the key advancement of uh, IceCom because it it resets all your skill cooldown. Now to reset it, you have to use a total of five times weapon skill. And once you use skills five times, it's gonna reset all your weapon skill, and also makes your following. Uh, flow attack deal uh, double damage for 25 seconds so very nice to have and you can see at the you know status bar here so this icon shows you how many skills you have already used so in this case I have used three so what I'm gonna do is I use Lin skill so that I use skill four times right now I swap to Saki and use this skill again. So I have I use this 
so I, I've used skills five times, and then you notice my skill got immediately reset. Now if I swap to Lin, notice that her skill also gets reset. And, like I said, because the skill get reset, and then you use them again, now you the counter goes up to two again. Now if I just come here to use Alice skill, it's gonna go to three stacks. So the, the skill resetting mechanics uh, is the, the feature that makes ICOM very flashy but uh, it also means that it, it takes skill to master it because that you really have to get familiar with all your skill cooldown the rotation and you have to keep track of how many skills you have used. Now, now typically uh, the first rotation is always the easiest to do because what you can do, let's say you're doing bygone, uh, before you start the fight, you can use like two weapon skill in advance, and then wait for that skill cooldown to re to you know wait for the skill skill cooldown to pass, so that when you actually enter the fight, right, you, you do your normal rotation. So you have three weapons. After using all three weapon skill, then you have a total of five skills used. So that way it resets all your weapon skill. Um, so you can unleash another round of burst. So, uh, and then there are a lot of tricks around this. Uh, so one of them is, you know, of course, you want to make sure, like for example, you want to make sure your highest hitting skill is the last one in that rotation, right? So the, so that way when you reset it, then you can use that high multiplier skill again. Um, and and I think. Figuring out a suitable rotation for yourself is a very uh, enjoyable process. Everyone can have a different rotation, uh, and unfortunately, I, I just I'm here just to provide the mechanics. I, I don't have a perfect rotation myself, so I'll leave that to you to you guys to figure out, which will be fun. Now, um, let's talk about Alice. She is basically a a better frick. Um, what, what she does is also she provides a lot of off-field damage, but unlike Frick, you sort of need Frick's advancements, because otherwise Frick just deploys the field, it doesn't do anything. But Alice, she similarly she just deploy a, 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 a space, so this space is, um, I'm pretty sure it, it has like infinite range. Uh, it is so like as you can see I'm moving around and then it doesn't seem to have a, a boundary. Um so 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 this alone is already better than, than Frick's skill field. And what this field does, or this I, I should call it space, uh what this space does, within the space, uh when you use a ice weapon discharge, it's gonna unleash a frostbite attack. As you can see here, 262.1%. Uh, this skill is also able to slow target by two seconds. Now it doesn't work against boss. Uh, in addition, within this space, if you trigger, so if you land 12 hits with Alice weapon, it's gonna trigger a second coordinated attack called Dimensional Slash. I'm just gonna call it Slash for simplicity. So this slash can be triggered. So once you trigger this, you can trigger the slash every two seconds, dealing 270% attack damage, uh, as it says here. Now, to trigger this, of course, you will want a fast hitting move set, and Alice does have a, a fast hitting move set, which is the branch attack. So you do that you know, by left click and then into hold left click. So similar to Saki's uh, branch skill. And this, so what's good about this is that every time you use a weapon skill, you will enter, you will have invincibility frame when you use this. So you will be uh, immune to damage. So that really helps because um, otherwise you're just gonna be sitting here, you, you do a lot of hits, great, but then you're also taking a lot of damage and then you might get a one-shot it especially in content like Bygone or 
um, like the four player bygone, stuff like that. So this invincibility frame here really helps. In addition, it's also able to group enemies, so it, it, it kind of suck, suck in mobs, so, so you are the center, it kind of just pull the mobs in towards you. So before Alice was released, Icecom is the only com that doesn't have this sort of grouping ability. So Firecom has Ruby, Volcom has Tianlong, and Physicalcom has Lyra. And now finally, Icecom has its own grouping capability, so, so this is very nice. Now the move set, uh, so let me uh, first use skill, so you will see an icon here that, that says when you do that branch skill move set, you will have invisibility frame. So, and then the, the branch attack, so you see is this flashy kicking uh, flashes. So that thing is going to help you to quickly stack that 12 stacks. To tr so that you can trigger the additional slash coordinate attack. Now, similar to Saki, Alice will also need her one star to uh, to really become the most optimal. And what her one star does is that uh, when you are within this icy space, every time every time you use a ice weapon skill, ice weapon skill, you will summon Alice Phantom and then that Phantom is gonna unleash Alice Discharge. So let me, so I'm now within the icy space. I use Saki's skill. You can see Alice Phantom there doing, doing her sin. And uh, in addition, uh, I, I don't know if you guys catch it, but you, I, I, but that phantom there uh, swapped to Saki's weapon, uh, and then and then that is so. Once that phantom triggered that, once that phantom uses uh, Alice discharge, right? It's also gonna, it's also gonna use the. Um, so this is confusing. It, it's also gonna use the weapon skill that triggered the phantom. So. Um, so I, I use Saki's uh, weapon attack, weapon skill, so that phantom is going to use Alice discharge first, that does like 720%, right? After that, she's also, the, the phantom is also going to do um, the, the Saki's weapon skill again. So you're looking at 700% plus like 900%. So like uh, that's like an insane uh, off your or coordinated attack, and then and then the more ice weapon you have, the the more you can trigger this right. So this is like very very broken. Um, now ideal now now here is the thing now here I'm gonna talk about who is gonna be the last uh, spot in your um, ice weapon lineup. Um, even though, no, no, the more ice weapon you have, the more phantom you can trigger. Um, but uh, Lin herself also has a insane off-field damage. So pretty much to decide if you want Lin or not, is that your Lin? So this is from a a uh, some other scene and content creator. I didn't really do the math here. But it seems like you need to at least have Lin at three star. Also, her 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 full chipset to out DPS a um. So I'm I'm with I'm in battle right now. Excuse me. So you do have to uh, at least have Lin at three star and her chipset to replace someone like say a six star Zabasa. Now, before Zabasa already have like insane buffing ability, uh, capability. Now in CN is 40% damage buff and additional 15% um, damage buff when you use her uh, ultimate or sorry discharge. Now, thi now this get nerfed but in CN this is like huge attack. Now the only reason the old, uh, the old Icecom you will prefer Lin over Zubasa is because Lin has that insane uh, uh, off 
feel damage from her weapon skill and her flower. A and Alice uh, basically came in and solved that problem, like solves Tsubasa's problem of not having a off-field damage. So, because because like every time you use a a weapon skill, uh, it's gonna trigger that phantom. So, and especially Tsubasa has a very short cooldown, like only 12 second cooldown. So you're triggering a lot uh, more. You're triggering the phantom more often than other. And 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 I don't personally have Frick. Frick is like similar to Zabasa, right? So, the, the triple ice calm is a uh, is a very um, solid calm, and then you don't really need Lin. Uh, however, if your Lin is at least a three star, and also you have a full chip set, then the thing might get different because a three star Lin basically. Um, so if you look at her skill. Her her three star reduced the cooldown to 0.3 seconds, so you're spawning that, um, you're spawning that off field damage very really quickly and lasts for 20 seconds. So, so 20 divided by 0.3, and then that spawning does like 60%. So you're looking at like, uh, I believe my math is correct. Um, I think it's 4,000 multiplier. Off field damage. So even though, um. Even though Lin is not able to trigger that phantom, but then a three-star Lin has, she has enough personal damage to make up for the uh, the additional phantom you trigger. So, if your Lin is like three-star and you also have her chipset, then it's gonna be worth taking over, say like a six-star Subasa or like a six-star Frick. Now, Lin is also an option if you want to. Branch out to other comp. However, if you uh, if you are like a low spender or free to play unit, uh, sorry, free to play player, uh, and then you only care about ice comp, then my suggestion is you don't have to pull Lin, right? So you can either um, use Tsubasa, like I said, which is free. You can get her all the way to six star, or if you already have Frig, and then you can run like Frig, uh, Alice, and Saki who all just need one star to become fully functional. Um, if you're a, if you're like a whale, so you don't even hesitate, like get Lin to max, cause, and, and, and because like, and, and another advantage, which pretty much only applies to whale, is that the Lin's chip is the only, uh, Lin is the only weapon that can fully um, utilize Lin's chip, because this is a very powerful off-field damage buffing chip, so if you use like a, if you use like Frig or Zubasa, then you can only do something like, uh, two piece Lin plus two piece Frig, and then that is not gonna be as good as four piece Lin. Um, let's see. Yeah, uh, like I said, you don't really need further advancements. I mean, the more advancements you have, the 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 more damage you do. And I do want to mention Alice five star here because it gives you a a cheat death, and that has like sixty second cooldown, so it's good to have. Um, Saki, on the other hand, her five star can trigger phantasm. Um, so when you when your surge hit enemy, it can it can trigger the phantasm, and that phantasm. So the phantasm is the you trigger. You know, normally you trigger phantasm by doing a perfect dodge. Uh, now here is just when you when your search hit enemy is gonna also trigger a icy phantasm. That phantasm shares the same cooldown as your normal phantasm. Um, but unfortunately, the bad news is uh, in these days end game content, a lot of mobs are immune to CC and phantasm. So if you are a whale trying to go for this, I would say unless you are going for six star, then you don't bother going for five star. So you, you you if you wanna go for her constellation, like go all the way to six star. Uh, last, I wanna talk about her Simulacra. Now her Simulacra is very interesting because if you have like four thousand friendship, uh, it also allows physical fire, um, volt weapon 
to be able to summon Alice Phantasm. So, um, normally, uh, if you read her skill, or sorry, her advancement, you need Ice Weapon skill to trigger the Phantasm. But then, if you have her Simulacra, then you basically, even if you use, um, a, let's say, like a physical weapon, or Vol weapon, or, or any other three uh, fundamental weapon, you are able to trigger that um, phantom also. So let me just so let me just demonstrate here. So if I use Claudia skill, you can see uh, see that phantom. So you don't have to uh, use uh, ice weapon to trigger this. Now the interesting point is it doesn't it doesn't talk about uh, excuse me it doesn't talk about. It only it only says physical fire and vote. It, it doesn't say uh, aberration, which is Lin's. So I think this is kind of like a way to balance Lin, because Lin is just like too much broken, especially if you have her like uh, max out. But this also gives like low spender other options. So so you can run something like this. So like Alice. Um, Saki, and you run Claudia as your like general buffer, right? And, and and this is also great because say if you want to um, play two elements, like two comps, right? So what you can do is you can, um, and then you you don't even need Saki here. You can put, right? You can put like Zubasa here. So now you will have an ice comp. And then at the same time, if you go pull Lyra, then you can also play physical comp. So, and I think the devs are are heading a good direction because the the second round of weapons. So starting from Annabella, Annabella and Alice, they are all like free to play friendly. That doesn't really need um, any advancement, or at the most, you will need like one star. Because similarly, Annabella also kind of need that one star, but it also kind of gives. Uh, you other team come options that doesn't uh, that are not like restricted right in, into one element because with Annabella you can also do something like this right have a general buffer so I think the the game is heading toward a a, a, a good direction and I hope that you know global can I, I'm pretty sure there there will be some tuning here and there but I hope that the global dev can um continue to make the balance better and give players a much wider option rather than just focusing on that one specific comp okay um and uh i also want to talk about the chip set now because you do trigger if you have alice one star because you do trigger the fan the fandom a lot and then the the discharge that Phantom unleash uh, do benefit from Claudia four set. So what you can do is, especially for free to play, you can wait for um, Claudia to enter standard banner and get her chip set. And uh, you can also use something like two Samir, two Crow on your Saki. And then, uh, but then uh, you you do want to at least if you can afford, uh, get either Alice's full set of chip or Saki's full set of chip, because these chip, uh, they they are like completely off field. Um, so it's very good to have. Um, but I know chip is somewhat uh, kind of out of free to play's territory. But then I think it's still somewhat doable if you dedicate all your resources into one comp. But even then, if but it doesn't really. It doesn't really mean you have to have it, but it's very good to have. Um, if you don't want to, if you don't want to like spend any uh, resources on chip, then you can use like four piece Shiro, right? So you have four piece Shiro, um, four piece Claudia, and like two Samira, two Crow. So that will be your chip setup. Um, if you already have like a uh, Frick chip, uh. And then you don't want to go for Lin, you can do what I said, like you, you go uh, 2 Frick plus 2 Lin, or just like mix up anything. 
that you have available in your uh, inventory. Whew. Okay, I think that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.